Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Gabby and today we're gonna test together some brand new releases. We're gonna have in here many designers, okay, but we're gonna have some niche as well. Uh, basically, just some fragrances that I looked at the notes, I was like, mmm, mmm, okay, okay, okay. But I didn't wanna blind buy them or I didn't necessarily have the time to go to a store to smell them there, so... I just got some samples, okay? I think we're getting here nine or ten perfume samples. Um, all of them that new releases, some extremely recent, okay? Others, maybe they were released a few months ago. Um, this is gonna be like the second time when I test them. I already kind of have an opinion because obviously I sprayed them, I tested them when I got them. That was like two weeks ago, uh, but I didn't smell them again, okay? So, it's not first impression, but again, I can't, I generally cannot remember how any of these perfumes smell like. So, before we start, if you like this video, don't forget to give a big thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and now, let's jump in. Alright, let's start with a gourmand. Burberry Goddess Intense. I've tested the original Burberry Goddess. I liked it. It gave me a little bit of mongerla, just a tiny, tiny, tiny bit, and then with a beautiful, kind of like brown sugar vanilla. I liked it. I do have 60, 70 vanilla perfumes, and I just didn't love it as much. When it comes to mongerla, I love that DNA. I love the original. I love the intense version, and I love what they did with the lavender, okay? It's not as much vanilla, it's more lavender, but it's a sweet lavender. Absolutely love it. When it comes to vanillas, like I said, I have so many. The original, it was usually like a brown sugar vanilla, super sweet vanilla, beautiful vanilla with a tiny bit of lavender. But I just, I don't know, I felt like I didn't need it in my collection. Now, Burberry Goddess Intense. Some of the notes are lavender, it has four type of vanilla, okay? And then has some patchouli. I think it has other notes as well, but when I saw four types of vanilla, I was like, let me try it. For some reason, again, I do not own the original. But when I smell the original, for me, I was actually getting more vanilla from the original. For some reason, on this one, I'm getting a bit more lavender. Like, it definitely, this one definitely gives me Mongerla vibes. If the original was like, eh, maybe, kind of, not really. This one, it literally gives me Mongerla with lots of vanilla. Like there is, there is vanilla, but I feel like in this one, the lavender is actually more amplified. I don't know. And there is some, I don't know. I feel like I like the original better, to be honest. Even though I, I don't know how many vanillas the original has, okay? This one has four, but it has like caviar vanilla. Like what's that? Like, is that an actual thing? Like caviar vanilla, I don't know. I'm just asking, Anjali, just asking. For fragrance to have four types of vanilla, I don't smell that, that much vanilla. And I smell pretty much every single vanilla that's on the market. So this one for me is gonna be a skip. It doesn't feel also that intense. It doesn't feel that powerful. I feel like the original was, was good. I feel like the original was good, you know, it was quite strong. This one might be just my sample. Again, I don't have a bottle of the original of this one. I only have a sample, but I don't know, it doesn't feel like an intense version, to me, at least. The next one, one that was actually really curious, especially because of the bottle and the color of the juice, as you can see, it's kind of like a bluish gray. Uh, this one is from Mugler, and it's a new angel. It's Angel Phantasm. Phantasm? Phantasm? I don't know. Uh, this one has pineapple, bergamot, coconut, diary flower, patchouli, I do have the Ice Star, okay, that one needs, is it a pineapple one? Yeah, I think it is. I do have the Eau Crozier, both versions, the mango one, I've got the fig one. I like it. Hear me out. I really like it. I love Ice Star, okay? You are getting the pineapple, but I'm getting so much patchouli. Like... 
and I'm getting that almost like I oh, know it's not it's not dirty patchouli it's more almost like a medicinal like some like some oil that you would put I know it gives me I've got the cold and I'm doing some like oil treat I don't know I really don't like the patchouli first spray literally the like first moment I'm gonna spray it again when you spray it you get the pineapple and you're like mm, two seconds later there's so much patchouli it's I don't know it feels like mm, it's a bit almost mincy as well it's that type of patchouli that's almost mincy you know what I feel it smells like it smells like those sprays that you put in your nose when you you got the cold when you have a blocked nose I don't like it I'm really sorry. I don't like it. The patchouli is completely ruining it for me. Like, I don't mind some patchouli here and there, but when it's done right, it, I just, I really don't like it. Like, it, for me, it smells like, I don't know, some sort of, like, plants that you use when you have a blocked nose. I don't know. I don't like it. The next one from, from uh, not Alien, not Angel, from Moogler, is Alien Hypersense. Now, people are comparing this one to the original Alien, which I don't have it anymore. Uh, I do have the one from Mikalif, what's the name? That smells literally like the old, 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 old Alien. Uh, because I've realized that over time they have reformulated the fragrance so many times that right now it literally smells like a soapy jasmine. This one has pear, green mandarin, jasmine, has like Indian jasmine and sandbag jasmine, I believe. It has some Kashmirian. I like it. This one, I like. This one, it's again, it's a soapy jasmine. It doesn't necessarily remind me of like the OG alien. But you get some pear as well. Like I'm definitely getting the pear. I'm not getting any orange. And the jasmine, it's soapy, but it's not as soapy. I don't know. Like, it makes sense not to have just um, sunbuck jasmine, because sunbuck jasmine can be a bit too indolic. It can be a bit too dark. It's not too dark. It's not as dark as, like, the original. I'm talking the current formulation. And it's not as soapy. You can definitely tell that it's, like, a flanker, but it's not as soapy. It's not as indolic. It's still soapy, but it's not as soapy, okay? And then you're getting the pear. I like this one. I actually like this one. I know. Do I need it? I definitely don't need it. Especially now because we're going to fall and winter. But I like it. Like if you're interested in this one, I will go and try it, okay? Moving on. Chloe. I do have, um, from like the Nomad line, I do have two of them. The original and the EDT. And those two are my fragrances when I travel. When I have to fly, I spray that one. Literally, it just calms me down. I really, really like it. I don't wear it outside anymore, but all the time when I go traveling, I use that fragrance. This one is Chloe Nomad Unui d'Egypte, Egypt, I think. I think it's basically, I, I'm, I don't speak French, but I kind of understand it a little bit. So I think it's a night in Egypt, I think. This one has myrrh, cinnamon, ginger orange blossom vanilla cipri oil this i like i legit don't know what i'm smelling it has a little bit of the original dna still there and with the original as well some people absolutely hate it some people really really like it actually i don't have the original i'm lying i do have the absolute version and the eau de toilette i don't particularly like the original but they all have like kind of the same DNA, just obviously it's really different. This one I like it. Like this one, I, I actually like it. I can smell the orange blossom. Orange blossom is not too strong. Is that designer orange blossom, which I like. I like designer orange blossom. I realized when it comes to this particular note, I kind of prefer it over niche orange blossom. Niche orange blossom, it's I know it sounds silly, designer orange blossom, but for me, niche orange blossom is too floral sometimes. I do have a few that I really, really like, 
uh, but in general it's just like way too floral and it's kind of like green it goes more into a roly than orange blossom what i've noticed that designers they just make it a bit more a bit easier to wear i like this one it doesn't blow me away okay but from everything that i've seen so far i feel like this one is my favorite moving on designer again but more like the private collection from Celine, I don't have anything from Celine. This one is Zuzu. I think this is how you pronounce it. Zuzu has, let's put it here, some of the notes. Uh, vanilla, tonka bean, benzoin, labdanum, musk, patchouli. Based on the notes, am I really, really like it or am I not? And I don't. Because it's i'm getting the tonka base paint i'm getting the vanilla vanilla is not that faint i think it's the labdanum and the patchouli that kind of has a dirtiness but then it's very musky as well i'm not really sure if it's just the musk it's very musky it's like you you get this vanilla with a tiny bit with a little bit of tonka okay not that much tonka which is perfect and then it's quite heavy on the mask and then it has this like darkness but also dirtiness in the background no i don't like it like there's something about it i really like and i'm pretty sure that's the tonka kind of vanilla but there's something else i really don't like and then the whole composition i don't like it so no i don't like that one moving on one that i, I almost place an order blind buy but i said you know what let me get the sample let me get the sample first diptyque this, we are going to niche now diptyque le papier i think this is how you pronounce it this one has people are loving it like people are absolutely loving it this one has musk sesame mimosa and woody notes It's a very diptyque fragrance, for sure. I'm definitely getting the woody notes. It's very woody, but musky and gent... I know, diptyque fragrances, even though they have, I know, like darker notes, I feel like they're very... They know how dark to go. Like They don't go too dark. They don't go too intense. And they all kind of have this, like... That has skin scent, but... You can tell that they're not meant to be extremely loud. And I'm getting the sesame as well. Do I like it? I do like it. Do I love it? No. Like, I absolutely love my Odwell. I love, love that one. Um, but EDP, EDT, I really like Tamdao as well. Like, that, that fragrance is from Diptyque that I really, really like. But this one, I do like it though. Like, I do like it. I'm just not that into woody perfumes. Like, I like them, but again, I need some sweetness, you know, on the side. Or some booziness, or something that is going on. It's a no. I know for a fact it's a no. Pretty much everything here is a no. No, it's one day it's a yes. And you're going to understand exactly why. Um, it's a no, but it's, it's beautiful. I will still... I will still go and try it the next one which is a yes but i've tried to find it in the uk and i can't find it it's kind of like a new brand and i've seen here i've seen it like here and there um like people on youtube on instagram this one is frinity parfa no limit when i saw the notes i was like i need to try it this one has coconut Caramel, fruity notes, lang lang, vanilla. Oh, this is beautiful. This is absolutely beautiful. It gives me almost like Mezoma Taha Escape Gourmand, like that type of vanilla, you know, sticky sweet vanilla. Almost we are going to creme brulee territory with coconut. So you think, okay, so maybe it's creme brulee from Theodore Scalotini's because that one has coconut. But then I'm getting this like 
tropical vibe in the background. And that's definitely coming from the ylang ylang and the fruity notes. Like it's definitely more tropical than creme brulee, than maison mataha. They, it shares like a similar DNA, but there's just something a bit tropical, like quite tropical about it. I do really like it. Do I need it? Absolutely not. Like I do have so many vanilla, caramel, coconut perfumes. Do I want it though? Yes. So this one, if I can find it in the UK, you are gonna see it here on the shelf, okay? Moving on, we have two more. The first one is from Mezocri Valley and this one is Oud Cadenza. You know me and Mezzo Crivelli. I've tried. Uh, I know that the tuberose one what uh, got quite popular. Was it from Mezzo Crivelli though? I think it was from Mezzo Crivelli. It was a tuberose one that people were loving it. I freaking hated it. Um, yeah, I don't... The hibiscus mahaja, I, I don't like that one either. I do have a dupe that I actually prefer. This one, again, based on the notes, it's either love or hate you have saffron you have dates you have caramel you have oud you have sugar you have vanilla you have sunka bean you have cacao butter i do really like it like i do really like it Irim in the opening in it reminds me of the new one from pantheon roma nerone is it called nerone i think so it has this darkness this like wood but then you have all of these like sweet notes. It starts very sweet, but very dark in the same time. I love the opening. But then the dry down, the wood is getting stronger and stronger and stronger. And I stop loving it. Like all of the other fragrances from Mezzo Crivelli, they're a beast, okay? They're a complete beast. And for me, the fact that it's also a beast is not actually a good thing in this case because I'm already starting to get more wood, but I know like opening, I was like, first Mezocri Valley that I'm gonna buy, finally, because I wanted the bottle. And I was like, ah, the wood is getting a bit stronger, but you know what, like in my work, after like five, 10 minutes, it's getting a bit too strong for me. And I don't enjoy it that much. Like there is wood and there is wood. I don't know, even if it was getting stronger, but also the sweetness was getting stronger. No problem, but I feel like the sweetness kind of takes a step back, you know, and then the wood take, takes a step forward. And I'm still playing with it because obviously it's not that cold outside. I'm going to revisit it maybe in like a month or two when it's cold, okay? Um, I will still try it. I will still try it because so far from Ezokri Valley, this one is my favorite one, okay? And the last one that we have in here, Goldfield and Banks Mystic Bliss. Again, the notes, I was like, I'm not sure, but still it sounds interesting, you know. This one has fig, cassis, mint, incense, cedar, oris, like what? I like it. Somehow. It's very different. It's very unisex. It's definitely not a gourmand. You can definitely smell the fig, which is a bit green, but it's not too green. It's definitely not too green. And it has that milkiness. I'm not getting any mint. I'm not necessarily getting the incense. I'm getting mainly the fig, the cedar, because it's very woody. And the oris, because it's quite fluffy, powdery in the same time. Just a tiny bit, not that much. But the two main notes are the cedar and the fig. It's definitely, like I said, unisex perfume is definitely fall winter. I feel like I feel like this one will layer very, very nicely with the vanilla perfume. Obviously, you don't have you know to buy different perfumes to create another one. But I'm just saying, like I do like it. I might get it, but I might get it to and Put on top some vanilla because you know i like my fragrances to be a bit sweeter because it feels quite unisex i'm not saying it's masculine but it feels quite unisex but i really really like what they did with the fig and the woody notes like the cedar 
I really like what they did. This one is definitely a maybe. Like, this one is definitely a maybe. Again, at the moment, I'm so, so, um, like, focused for some reason on Gourmands. Like, I've been loving, I'm trying to work something else, but literally, I cannot. I know that it's gonna go away. I have my moments, like... Two years ago, I was all about white flowers during the summertime, no fruity perfumes. This summer, I was all about fruity perfumes. Um, I know I'm going to get back into that because I do have also some woody perfumes. But right now, I'm literally just into sugary sweet fragrances. Uh, but that one is definitely a maybe. It's definitely, definitely a maybe. I just need to play it a little bit more. I do, I do really like it. I'm just like, would I wear it or... Which is like collect dust on the shelf, you know, because I do have so many fragrances. But I do really like it. So, that was it for today. Quick video. I hope it was quick, okay? Uh, let me know in the comments down below, okay? Let me know in the comments down below. Uh, if you tested these new releases, if there are any other new releases that you want me to try, okay, in front of the camera. Let me know in the comments down below. And yeah, that was it for today. Thanks so much for watching. If you like this video, don't forget. Give the big thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and like always, I'm gonna see you guys in my next one. Bye bye.